another 550 yards back. Well, they've got to funnel into one lane here. Yeah, well, half of them won't see it anyway. On to 40, please. Hold it there, 60 miles an hour. Hold it there. Blue lights, okay. Top lights, yes. Side? Yes. Head? Yes. I've stopped a couple yesterday going around the North Circular. You should have seen the look he goes in, it Your bloody funeral. million vehicles demanding their right of way on roads that were designed for horses. Your job will be, one, to maintain the free flow of traffic, two, attempt to prevent accidents, and three, and it is third, to apply the requirements of the law to misbehaviour on the road. But the basic cause of all skids is speed, so you can remove the cause by cutting off the accelerator pedal. And at the same time, because the car has gone sideways in the skid, you must steer into the skid. This means you must try and steer the car back on course. Unfortunately, braking is a reflex action. And this, as you see, will cause the car to spin completely down. Now, although it sometimes goes against the grain, your approach to the motorist must be courteous but firm. He's done something wrong, and he knows it. And he knows that you know it. So he's feeling guilty and frustrated, and he'll often try to take it out on you. Don't rise to the bait. An argument won't help either of you. Tell him the facts, report the facts, and let the court decide what punishment, if any, he deserves. And in 1971, for instance, over 70,000 people were killed or injured in road accidents in the metropolitan area. Criminals killed or injured only about 8,000 in the same period. It makes you think, doesn't it? Now let's talk about the free flow of traffic. Oscar from Lima 37 really broken down Lorry, Kennington Road. Drivers unable to shift it. Believe gearbox failure. 
can you arrange for at least two more solos at the scene to assist? Restart it, please. Lima 37, over. Control unit will be done. Off driver. We're safe, I guess. No, George, Dogger. No, engine. Huh? It's the transmission that's gone. Okay, fair enough. There's a garage on wire for you. I'll see what we'll do with this truck in a minute. Thanks very much. Is any TDM unit, any TDM unit can go to Kennington Road and assist Oscar Lima 39. The vehicle broken down, causing congestion. Ask driver. Lima 42, yeah, I'll assist here, over. Oscar Lima 42, will it go to Kennington Road? Assist Oscar Lima 39 with this congestion. Lima 42, will it go to Kennington Road? Well, this thing's stuck down here with a broken gearbox or something. It's immovable. So we're absolutely still good time, but if you go down to the horns, I think the traffic will be down there by now. What is it, George? Oh, it's the bloody police again. It beats me every time the traffic jam is a copper at the front of it. Your secretary bring along the minute, will she? Uh, yes, all being well. She should have them drafted by then. Oh, blah. Those coppers don't get out of the way soon. We're going to be late for this one. I think we'll turn off at West End Lane now. Go around the back double, come through here, see what the traffic like. Yeah, right. Right. Well, while you're down West End Lane, perhaps you'll stop our little bags at that uh, little general store, I suppose. Well, it's not before time, because it's a long time since I've had one of your cigarettes. Oh, that's better anyway. Yes, yeah, so if your secretary brings them along, um, I'll make arrangements to turn up, I think. Got a report here for Radio London Motorists. You're asked to avoid the Kennington area because there's a, a lorry apparently broken down there. Yeah. Not a bad one here, Skipper. Yeah, the other one we got on is gone light, but uh, we'll have to make a move with this one. This one's near fight on the north. So you reckon this is a double fight? Yeah, enough, yeah. Right. Okay, right? yeah, I'm all right. I've got to make it. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Hello. Give us that Give us that Can you give us a lift up? Yeah. How many is that, Al? 140 feet. 140 feet? What on a bloody road like this? Yes. This joker must have been doing 50, 55, 60. Get away quick. Junction again, Satch. Well, isn't there a faulty limit there? There's 40 mile limit here, give way sign there. And if they obeyed the signs, we wouldn't have these sort of accidents, would we? Double fatal. What's the next location in uh, Satch? Oh, yeah, it's North Circular Road again, yeah. Oh, yes, this is the one. They bomb around here, you know. It's a fast one, you know. Oh, yeah, that's, the, remember old, it? that's the old fatal, isn't it? Yeah? Yeah. They got the old 40 mile an hour signs down there, but they still keep at it, you know. Where's the next one then? Hazelwood Lane and Checkers Way. Hazelwood Lane and Checkers Way. It's an old lady oh, pedestrian. We'll have to do something about that sign. We'll have to go on to the council about that, Satch. So we make a note of that? Yep, yeah, I'll do that straight away. Good afternoon, I stopped you for exceeding the speed limit. 
really, I don't think so. Yes, I followed you all the way along there for two tenths of a mile and you were doing nearly 50. I'm terribly fine. I won't let it happen again. And the other thing is, have you got an excise license? What's that? The tax that goes on the windscreen. Look, I am in a bit of a hurry. Have you got your driving license with you? No, I haven't. And your insurance or test certificate? But what's this got to do with you? Well, if you haven't got an excise license, it may be that you haven't got an insurance. And then if you hit somebody, how are they going to claim compensation? Look, haven't you got anything better to do? I've got lots of things better to do, but this is my job, checking vehicles and documents. Have you got anything at all with your name and address on it? Oh, I might have an envelope. Here we are. Thank you. Hello, Oscar from Echo 32. Can I have a disc wall check, please? The driver's name is Two persons in an Opal Commodore saloon. No index mark available. Yeah, apparently it is congested. There are, yeah, there are some units taking away down there. Okay, come. Right on, mate. Right, bye bye. The door has been on to them. Ask Lima 6, ask Lima 6, if you are receiving me, go to Vauxhall and take charge of the traffic congestion there. If you know anybody travelling from your area to town via that station, it be best to avoid. Yes, proceed, Oscar Romeo. Uh, we will inform the BBC about the lower road. We have been in touch with the firm. A vehicle exam on an Austin 1100. Please see you on soon, Oscar. Yeah. Yep. Uh, Oscar 042, is it Yes, Oscar, go ahead. Uh, this is a positive uh, identification, 12 months disqualification, expiring at the 14th month of October 1973, Thames Magistrate Court. Where's Jack then, is he? Not like him. Oh, here he is now. Now, there you are. Usual. Yes. Hey, do I need it? Oh, what's that? It's been done. Done? Nicked. Clobbered. Booked, you know. Booked? Speedy. You know, I asked him. Cheers, join the club. <laughs> well, were you? Well, I what? Speedy. No. Well, technically, well, I don't. Well, where are you? Weren't. Well, 48. In a 40 mile limit. Yeah. Oh. Oh, well. Well, it was perfectly safe. That's what we all say. There was no one around. Except the police. <laughs> yes. Bloody police. <laughs> what time were you, George? I was 12. Jack's a bit late. It's unusual. He's got his club. Thank you. Usual, Jack? Yeah, don't forget. Not sure. Black coffee, dear, please, Jack. You'll swear you were doing no more than, say, 38 books. Yes, 28 pounds. Well, don't be dark, but please don't stop me for nothing. <laughs> Best admit your guilt and try to get off as lightly as possible. Say, 38 pounds. And then? <laughs> They'll say 48. The magistrate will know they're right. They've got special speedometers. But if you don't play silly buggers, maybe he'll be lenient. He's a driver himself. A fiver, probably. Olive, Olive, look, the tide's out again. <laughs> Goodness gracious me. Anyway, Jack, they say the best thing is to ask for trial by jury. They're all motorists, all sympathetic. Well, I don't know. Take my advice, plead guilty by letter. Guilty? Jack's not guilty till they prove it. Have you broken a speed limit, Lord Jack? Yeah, I suppose. Ah, well, there you are. Own up, pay up and shut up. And whilst he's been stuck in the book, he called Harry a fascist pig, see? You know what Harry's like? Yeah. Not a glue of a pass, he said. Excuse me, sir, he says, how do you spell pig? Well, I've been done twice, so I'm taking it very easy, I can tell you. I'm a totter. They had me a couple of months ago. Well, I didn't see the bloody sign, did I? Fist again, I suppose. Right, that wasn't that it happened, because they had me blowing into one of those little bags just to make sure. Good afternoon, sir. Oh, what's the trouble? Well, when we've been following you, sir, your driving's been rather erratic. What do you mean? Well, when you made the last left-hand turn, your rear wheels mounted the pavement. <laughs> right there, you mean, eh? It's a bit tight, isn't it? Sorry. It is, in fact, sir. Uh, I noticed, sir, your breath smells of drink. Have you been drinking? No, of course not. What, just, just two, nothing else? I understand, sir. Now, under the circumstances, I shall require you to take a breath test. Oh, but don't you think you're... Leave this to me, dear. Will you take the test, please, sir? Well, if you say so, yes. Or will you come to the police car, then, sir? Please. All right. I knew this had happened sooner or later, I told him. 
Yeah, what what's the what's yourself, happening madam? in there? Don't distress yourself yes, unnecessarily. Tell me what's happening. I'll explain to you what's going to happen. We've stopped your husband because we believe he's had too much to drink. But it's not necessary. I tell you, it's not necessary to do at all. Does now, that... depending on what the result of the alcohol test is, he may have to accompany us to the police station, <laughs> where we carry out a more stringent test. You know? Now, will you fill that bag up, sir, with one breath? Will you hold it where the rubber piece is, as the tube will get quite warm? All right, Mr. It's not necessary. Thank you, sir. Now the crystals have turned green. As a right. result of that test, you will be arrested for driving, having consumed too much alcohol. But they're still yellow. I can see them. No, sir, I'm afraid they're green. Yes, but he mustn't be just... Qualified, you see, it's very important for his well, job. We realise that, but we don't have power to disqualify people. That's up to the courts. That's nothing at all. I tell you, just one drink, down, two drinks down the road. Well, might have been three. If we start to stress upon people, don't drink and don't drive, and this wouldn't have happened. Dear sir, in response to your association's complaint regarding excessive speeds in the Stonehall Road, we have carried out observations over a period of ten days using radar speed checking equipment which is now used almost exclusively in answer to complaints such as yours. We do not propose any further action, as the general speed in this restricted road is within acceptable limits of the legal speed limit. in this restricted road is within acceptable limits of the legal speed limit. Ah, they've done nothing as usual. I can't stop now, I'm late. I've been driving for over 25 years, probably before you were born. And you've got the bloody nerve to tell me I'm driving without due care. You're not obliged to say anything unless you Rubbish. wish to do so, but what you say may Rubbish. be put into writing and given in evidence. Have you got your driving licence and certificate of insurance? It's a paper. I don't carry those. Let me see my secretary. It's quite all right, so you can produce them at any police station you nominate within five days. Land's End. Right, you are, so I'll make the format for Land's End. Thank you. Doctor, I've just stopped you. You've gone straight across that giveaway sign there without stopping. Why well, didn't you stop up there? Well, I, I came up to the giveaway sign and I saw it, but... Well, that's not good enough. You nearly caused an accident there with that other car coming up the ring road. Yeah, I'm very, very sorry, officer, but uh, I've got a very urgent appointment up in town and I'm late now. Um, it's a good run. I took a chance. I'm sorry. Nevertheless, it is an offence. You're not obliged to say anything unless you wish to do so. I'm terribly sorry, officer. I promise it won't happen again. I don't don't usually drive like that. You gave the lady a terrible fright. <laughs> well, as I say, you know, I'm very sorry. Well, I must point out to you, sir, that it's an offence to fail to give precedence to a pedestrian on a pedestrian crossing. Hello, Bruno's got a right one there. He's killing himself the way he's going there, look at it. Quick, switch over to the saw cannon. You've only stopped me because of my car. I'll put my lights on there. Yes, OK. I'll sound the gong. You see that? You see that? Yes, sir. for exceeding the speed limit on the elevated section uh, of the motorway. Don't stop picking on me, got to get long hair and groovy gear. 
It's not because of that. I couldn't possibly see you through this glass. It's the car we've stopped for exceeding the speed limit. Fairly bad. Yeah, 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 first day, kid. How is she, who? Is she working in there? Get an ambulance, will you?
You know, sir, I'll just stop you for exceeding the speed limit. And Haven't you got them. anything better to do? Why aren't you out catching criminals? Fox 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 Oh, God, look at this lot. What time is supposed to what? be there? Well, we're there in ten minutes. I mean, how can we possibly get there? Look at this. Why father. can't people be more careful? Goodness, look at it. All over the place. Oh, it's right now. We're there. Oh, no, we must rush. We must. No. Bravo 16, Bravo 16, are you receiving? Hello, Oscar from Bravo 16, clear off, hello. Bravo 16, can you assist our Bravo Delta section yes. with a PI ambulance called Chelsea Embankment Junction with Tight Street? No. Take a Bravo origin from Bravo Delta at 0319, Oscar. Hello, Oscar from Bravo 16, 0319 received. Bravo 16 out. Yeah, I know it actually. 